everyone, I'm JC and I'm Casey and we're here today to teach you how to make these adorable edible gift baskets and these are great for Easter, birthdays or any occasion and the best part about these is whoever you give it to can eat all of the candy. They're fun to make and fun to eat. They are. The supplies you'll need to make these baskets are candy and you will need four boxes of candy that are similar in size so we are using Swedish fish eggs and sour patch bunnies for Easter. You will also need something to use as the handle of your basket and we like to use a nerd's rope but if you do not have this you can use pipe cleaners, yarn or whatever you have. You will need scissors and a ruler. You will also need a piece of cardboard and I'm recycling a cereal box. And you will also need a piece of construction paper. I'm using green for grass, but you can use whatever color you want. You will need a glue gun or a strong glue. You will need glue and I'm using a glue stick. And finally, you will need clear packing tape. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, please cut four three inch strips of your clear packing tape. Please lay your boxes out like this. And we are going to start by taking one of them and standing it up like this. You're gonna take your next one and just slide it onto the next one like this. Take this one and slide it on. And finally, just fit this one into the last space here. This is how your boxes should look. You should have your four pieces of tape ready and your boxes all laid out like this. And for each corner, you're going to make sure that it's sitting flat on the surface. And you're going to push it tight together like this. And then you're just going to tape it around the edge to make sure that it is secured. So we're going to take our first piece of tape and do it for our first corner. So now this one is taped and we're just going to rotate this all together and we're going to do the same thing for this corner. We're going to push them together and tape it. Please rotate this. We are going to put our next piece of tape on. And finally for the last corner, you're going to push it together once again and tape it. Now your boxes are secure and we're going to add a bottom to this. For this part, you will need a piece of cardboard and a pencil, and we're just going to take our box and we're going to trace around it. Now we're going to cut it out. If you want to make sure that the square you cut out will fit your box, all you have to do is flip it over to the bottom and then place it on. And if it's larger, then you can always trim it around the edges. Now I'm going to trace my piece of cardboard onto my construction paper. And to make this easy for yourself, you can always put it in a corner and then just trace the other two edges. Now I'm going to cut this out. Now I have a square of green construction paper cut out and we're just going to take our cardboard and flip it over to the side that you do not want to be seen. And we're just going to apply glue to the edges and the inside. Now please take your square that you have cut out and lay it down. If you can see cardboard or the paper is too large, you can always just trim around the edges, but you won't really see this. Now we are going to glue this onto the bottom of our box. So we're just going to flip this over. So now we should be at the bottom of all of the boxes. And you're going to take your glue gun and line this all with glue. Now we're going to put on our bottom with the green side facing down. Please push down the edges. Now you are finished with creating the bottom and we are going to need to attach a handle. Please cut two one inch pieces of your clear packing tape. Now I'm going to take my nerd's rope and I'm going to fold it and shape it into a handle. Now we're gonna take one of our one inch pieces and once this is flipped over onto the back, you're just going to take it and put it at the very edge and then do the same for the other side. Place it at the very edge. 
Now I'm just going to flip this over. You can place your handle anywhere you want it inside your box and I'm gonna do one side at a time. Please cut two three inch pieces of your clear packing tape and I'm just gonna take one of those pieces and I'm going to use it to secure one of the sides. I'm going to take the other piece and secure it to the other side. Now your candy basket is finished and you can fill it with even more candy, stuffed animals, or whatever you want. This is what it looks like when it's done. And this is the one I made with all different kinds of candies. And we filled our baskets with little stuffed animals and these make great gifts for your friends and family. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make some, we'd love to see them. Our Instagrams are Craft Life USA and Craft Life USA too. So please tag us in a photo. And please don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. We hope you're living a craft life just like us. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Bye.